What's up guys? So today's video I just want to do a hopefully quick little video because I want to talk about something that I've been meaning to bring up with you guys which is the LED bulbs in the projector housings, the original halogen projectors that come on these RAMs. And you guys know that I already swapped it out for HID kit. If you haven't checked out the video, make sure to check it out because it basically shows visually why you would rather have HIDs in your projector housings as opposed to LEDs. I thought it didn't make a difference. I thought everyone was kind of just blowing smoke until I actually tried it and saw the difference and you guys can see that difference on that video. But one thing I wanted to talk to you guys today about is the LEDs that I pulled out of my projector housings that were running in there for probably about maybe five months, almost six months. So I had them in there for at least a few months anyways. I think I put them in the fall, so don't quote me on the exact amount of time, but it was you know a good three, four months at least. So I took those out and I noticed some basically discoloring. So I wanna show you guys how hot those things got. So here they are here. I was storing them in this little box from some other bulbs that I got. But you guys will quickly see just how hot they got. So check out the discoloration on these, you guys. So they used to be black. You can see at the base there. Now they are that black color and they got so hot that they turned into this gold color. That's not the color they're supposed to be. So you guys can see at the bottom. So these things are getting extremely hot in those housings. I didn't see any signs of anything melting, but. And there's another one. So it says bronze color when it started off as this black color down low. And you can see just it got so hot that it discolored like that. So I wanted to make you guys aware of that just in case you guys are running them for a long period of time. Uh, I was running them in pretty high temperatures and sometimes even with the headlights on during the day just for visibility reasons, but um, these things are getting extremely hot in there. I know HID kits get pretty hot as well, but um, it's just something to note that these things do get hot in there. Maybe you guys might want to take that into consideration if you're choosing to use these. And as far as plans for these, I'm going to show you guys a comparison video of these Hikari ones. Um, basically plugged into the uh, fog light position. So I went ahead and got another set of these CAN bus decoders. If you guys haven't already seen these CAN bus decoders, they're pretty cheap, they're like 20 bucks, but they work awesome. So these are them there. And I'm gonna use these, plug this into there, and then I'm gonna try them back in the fogs. I'm gonna do kind of a little bit of a shootout video between my cheap $25 LEDs that I tried. I have another around $40 or $50 uh, pair of LEDs that we're gonna try stacked up against these ones, which I think this setup with these two, which is required, you need these canvas decoders for these not to flicker. I think this whole setup might be around $80 or so. So we're gonna try those soon, but keep an eye out for that video. But I really wanted to just show you guys kind of a review of these. These lights still work perfectly fine and they're super bright, but just be aware of how hot they get and where you might be putting them because I don't know, there might not be enough ventilation inside of the um, headlight, that sealed headlight, because I obviously have a fan on the back. There might not be enough ventilation to keep these things as cool as they need to run. So thanks for watching guys. I know this is a very quick little video, but I feel like it's maybe insightful and might help you guys and might also save you guys from melting something. But either way, I wouldn't put those LEDs into the projector housings because they just don't seem to do too much compared to the HIDs that I showed you. But make sure you check out that other video. A lot more stuff on the way. As always guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.